Our next speaker will be Nariman Khalil. Nariman Khalil is a professor at the Department of Civil Engineering at the University of Balamand in Lebanon. She has more than two decades of experience in the fields of structural analysis, reinforced concrete design, rehabilitation of concrete structures, concrete sustainability, and engineering uh, education. Today, she will present on bond and development length of carbon fiber reinforced polymers in ultra high performance concrete. Nariman, it's your turn. Thank you. Thank you, Juan, for the introduction. Uh, it's 6.30 uh, p.m. local time in Beirut. I would say good evening to everybody uh, who's joining us for the session. Uh, I'm doing the presentation on uh, the bomb behavior of CFRB uh, polymers in ultra-high performance concrete, and I want to acknowledge the contribution of my colleague, Joseph Assad, from the, who is chair of the department of the civil and environmental engineering here in Balamant at the University of Balamant. Okay, um, ultra high performance concrete, uh, UHBC and carbon fiber reinforced polymers bars present fast solution for strengthening uh, concrete members. Uh, the CFRP is an advanced non-metallic composite material which presents certain advantages over steel, such as the high strength, lighter weight, no corrosion, superior creep and fatigue properties. Bond uh, behavior between CF, uh, CR, uh, CFRP, I corrected that, and UHBC is different from that resulting uh, from the conventional uh, ripped steel bars. Bond is affected by CFRB type, roughness, and surface geometry. The development of bond and the proper transfer of stresses between uh, UHBC and CFRB bars are not well understood. Unlike steel reinforcement, there is still no universal agreement on standard CFRB type, roughness, and surface geometry which would dif directly affect the bond properties between both components at serviceability and ultimate limit states. Slip is a major problem in CFRB bars, requiring special measures to ensure proper transfer of stresses and ductile behavior. Reported studies in literature showed significant reduction in the bond strength for CFRB bars mostly uh, due to higher slippage resulting from smooth bar surfaces. The objectives of the uh, current uh, research is to study the bond behavior of CFRB bars in UHBC, along with comparison to plain and ribbed ordinary steel bars. Study uh, the effect of modifying UHBC using styrene betadine rubber SBR polymers, polypropylene fibers, and steel fibers on bond properties. The intent of such modifications is to improve and strengthen the UHBC matrix, which is believed to lead to some improved bond properties. Different series of UHBC mixtures possessing 90 to 125 megapascal compressive strength are investigated in this study. And then analyze the characteristics of uh, pull-out force versus slip curves. We believe such data can be of particular interest to concrete researchers and practitioners seeking improved performance of UHBC and FRP combinations for a structural repair and uh, uh, precast applications. The experimental program uh, consisted, we designed seven mixes. We used uh, the commercially available ready to use pre-packed UHBC, which was used uh, in this study. Uh, this greatly improved the consistency and repeatability of the results. So the first mix is uh, referred to as REF, reference mix. And then in mix two, we modified it with 1% uh, addition of steel fibers. It will be designated as REF and plus SF. 
The third mix, uh, we added 1% of polypropylene fibers. Uh, another mix was, uh, with a 20% SBR mix. Uh, I think this is number uh, four, five, with 40% SBR. And then we had a combination of UHBC with 1% steel fibers and 40% SPR. The last mix had UHBC modified with 1% polypropylene fibers and 40% SPR. And this is the designation which will be used in the following uh, tables and the charts. The following slides will explain uh, and show the different properties of the materials used. The uh, proper, uh, proper polypropylene uh, fibers uh, used, uh, commercially available also in the uh, market, they had a 12 millimeter nominal length and 80 micrometer uh, diameter. And this is other properties, uh, specific gravity elongation at break and the elastic modulus and then the tensile strength mounting to 520 megapascal. The addition rate was fixed at 1% of the total UHBC mass. Steel fibers uh, also commercially available in the market. They had lengths of uh, 13 millimeter and 0 0.18 millimeter diameter. The tensile strength varied, uh, varies around uh, 2400 to 2900 uh, megapascal and the addition rate was fixed at 1% of UHBC mass. The SPR used uh, uh, in this study uh, this is the properties. Uh, the solid uh, content uh, is about 56% and the specific gravity shown here, 105, along with other uh, properties. The addition rates varied uh, between 20 to 40% of total water uh, for used for UHBC mixing. Now the properties of the steel used, we used the three types of uh, steel bars. We used the CFRB rods and then a plane and drip bars. Uh, we used spirally worn the CFRB rods as shown here in the pictures. We used 10 millimeter diameter and the tensile strength was uh, uh, 2172 megapascal. Uh, this is about three times the tensile strength of the rip bars and about 4.5 times the, the strength of the plane bars. The, this slide shows the properties of the ordinary steel rods. Uh, we kept 10 millimeter diameter, and this is the other properties that inside strength uh, for the rib bars 689 and the plane bars 482 megapascal. To determine the mechanical properties of the different mixes, uh, for each mix we cast nine prisms, 40 by 40 by 160 millimeter for flexural and compressive strength, one prism uh, 75 by 75 by 276 millimeter for flexural strength, four cylinders 100 by 200 millimeter for modulus of elasticity, splitting tensile strength and water absorption, three tubes 50 millimeter for water absorption and compressive strength. Here we'll see some photos uh, of the specimens cast, tubes, cylinders, and prisms. For the direct bond uh, pull-out Test, a total of 48 vertically cast blocks, 200 by 200 by 100 of UHBC mixes, were cast and tested by direct tension pull-out test. Uh, the embedment length in all specimens was 5 dp, which is 50 millimeter, with bars centrally placed inside the blocks, as shown in the attached figure. This is the machine setup for the pull-out test. And this is a photo of the blocks we had. Okay. 
Now we'll look at the experimental results. So for UHPC mechanical properties, it's presented in this table. Uh, here are the different mixes we had. Uh, F prime CD compressive strength. And here the tensile strength uh, measured FR and this, whether using a prism or the splitting tensile test, uh, modulus of elasticity and the water absorption. So for the reference mix, we had about 95.5 megapascal. And with the modification using uh, uh, steel fiber or PP, uh, you can see the improvement in the compressive strength. Uh, also, it's reflected here in the tensile strength. We had also improvement in that. Uh, the addition of SPR uh, uh, has uh, negatively affected the compressive strength, but uh, with improvement in the tensile strength, as you see here. Uh, the combination, when we added SF, uh, and PP with the SPR, obviously uh, we get uh, some improvement here. The following slide shows uh, there is better presented the graphs. To the uh, left, you can see uh, F prime C uh, of F prime C and the modulus of elasticity for the uh, different mixes we have. So the highest value was recorded 142.7 megapascal was recorded for the reference mix when steel fibers were added. Uh, to the right, we have the ten variation or the ten comparison of the tensile strength, the FR and the splitting tensile strength. And the highest value obtained when we added SPR at 40% uh, in addition with the steel fibers, we got 11.9. Uh, this slide shows the relationship between uh, F prime C and uh, the hardened properties. Uh, in general, the correlation uh, between the various UHB mixes uh, uh, properties is acceptable. Now looking at the uh, bond properties, we are presenting in this table uh, the plane bars in different in the reference mix and the reference mix with 40% SPR with the addition of PP and with the addition of the steel fibers. And here we have the results for the rib bars presented here. The bond properties, as you can see, uh, achieved is improved with the addition of PP. Better results uh, are shown, uh, are obtained for the rib bars. This is shown graphically. Uh, sorry. Okay, here. This uh, slide shows uh, graphically the bond stress versus bar uh, slip. We have the uh, the results for the plane uh, bars to the left and here to the right we have the results of the ribbed bar. It's interesting to know that the bond in the plane steel is mostly uh, brittle so when we reach the maximum uh, load it uh, drops suddenly while uh, conversely for the ribbed bars the bond is more ductile as you can see here. Uh, which is very important to ensure the transfer of stress and the ductility and reinforced concrete member. And the, uh, you can see the effect of the modification, uh, how it improves this ductility for the different uh, mixes we have. The next slide will uh, show the uh, results for the C CFRB uh, bars. In this case, uh, you see that the ultimate bond strength of the reference mix was uh, 10.2 megapascal as compared to about 16 and 30 me uh, megapascal for the plain and drip steel that we showed in the previous slide. This clearly reflects the effect of the slip that results from the smooth CFRB bars leading to reduced bond. Now, with the addition, with the modification using, SP, using SPR, it was beneficial. So we recorded increase. Yeah, we, we had got here 12.21 megapascal uh, and 11.22 with the addition of uh, uh, SPR to the mix. 
Also, the addition of the steel uh, fiber and PP led to remarkable bond uh, stress reaching about 18 and 14, as you can see, 18 for the steel fiber and 14.48 for uh, PP. So the modification was beneficial for uh, strengthening and bridge the UHP mixing uh, mixes thus retarding the propagation of cracks towards uh, the CFRP bars with consequent increase in the bond strength. Uh, the interesting result here that when we sprayed the CFRB uh, bars prior to casting in UHPC, we, uh, yeah, you can see here a remarkable uh, increase in the bond strength. So, the bond properties uh, actually have improved and because the polymers coalesce on the top bar surfaces and this helped to improve the uh, bond strength. Okay, uh, this slide shows the bond, uh, uh, the bond stress versus slip curves between uh, UHPC and CFRP bars. Uh, as can be seen, the ultimate bond strength uh, increased when the UHPC was modified using SPR. This one, the blue one down here, is the uh, reference, CFRP reference. And you can see that all types of modification actually uh, help to improve the bond properties and help to increase the ultimate, the ultimate stress, as you can see uh, over here. Yet, the behavior uh, remained brittle uh, because of the absence of the ribs that's necessary for the mechanical interlock. Uh, this graph shows the plane, uh, the comparison of the different uh, bars. Here we are comparing uh, the green one uh, refers to CFRP, uh, the reference, and uh, after the addition of steel uh, fibers. The blue uh, refers to the plain bars, and of course, best results were obtained for the rib bars. Acceptable correlation is obtained when we plotted the ultimate uh, bond and the bond determined uh, at uh, 0 0.5 millimeter slip, measured in megapascal, R squared is acceptable. When we plotted also the, yeah, the trend here is also clear. Uh, R2, though it's, uh, yeah, it's moderate, 0 0.55, but it's, uh, the trend is clear here. I'm heading to the conclusion. I, have, I hope the time is still okay for me. UHPC mechanical properties uh, remarkably improved with PP and SF steel fibers. The addition of SPR reduced F prime C, however, increased the tensile and flexural strengths. The average bond strength increased from 16 to 30 megapascal when plain or ripped steel bars are used, respectively. Yet, such bond remarkably dropped <coughs> sorry, to about 10 megapascal for CFRB bars which indicates lower adhesion strength. UHBC modification was not remarkable in the case of rib bars, reflecting that the mechanical interlock controls the bond behavior. In contrast, UHBC modification was efficient to improve the bond properties in case of CFRB bars. The uh, SPR spraying on top of SFRP bars is good practice to improve uh, the bond. I want to acknowledge at the end uh, Weber Sangopa in Lebanon for supplying the material used in this study. And I want to thank you for your time. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, email me. This is my email. And if time permits, we can answer a few questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Nariman. We have many questions uh, again, and I just want, want to put one gen general question by Fabien Lachier from ACI uh, uh, 408 committee. He asks, 
why do you think standard pull-out test is the correct test to study performance between CFRP and UPHC? Okay. Because um, obviously this is questioned. Okay. Uh, we believe so because um, I know there are uh, several techniques to be used. So we are starting, you know, with this one and uh, maybe we can compare it with other uh, results at the, uh, we're still doing some, we need to do some more experiments actually. But uh, we believe so because we can do the setup. This is the available setup in the lab currently. Oh, okay. That means for very practical reasons. Thank, thank you very much again.